you can join for free. And kids in every neighborhood belong. It's the Bunny Company, cause it shouts for fun, you see. So come on running when you hear our song. Come to order, come to order, says our president. And when the Bunny Company meets here, guess what we present? Things to be. And things to do. Story. Fun. Toys. All our and cut loose the balloon. A regular Charles Limburger I'll be. Do any of you know how to handle a balloon? Oh, sure, I had lots of them. Red ones, blue ones, yellow ones. I even had one with a whistle on it. I don't mean toy balloons. I mean something like you have out there, one that's capable of lifting you into the air. Now, I think before any of you astronauts venture off into space, you'd better find out a little bit more about lighter than aircraft. Lighter than aircraft? Well, like the blimp. It rises in the air because it's filled with a gas, helium, that's lighter than air. Oh. It's filled with so much helium that the lift offsets the weight of the materials that the blimp is made of. Oh, is that how that works? The skin is a light rubberized fabric, and the blimp carries six passengers. Boy, that'd be fun. The word dirigible has been used to describe this craft, but blimp is in more common usage now. Now, the blimp is like a balloon, except that it has two engines with propellers to move it. It doesn't just depend on wind uh, like a balloon does. And it has a tail assembly, so it can be steered and made to go up and down. Huh, boy, look at that. It's controlled from this gondola, and landing it is quite a trick. Boy, I'll bet it would be. You need a ground crew to hold her down or give her a boost off the ground. <laughs> Now, the blimp has panels on each side to carry electric sign messages of public interest, and it flies over beaches and cities, flashing these announcements as a gesture of public relations for the company that makes these blimps. Oh, I've seen those. They've been used by Army and Navy in the past for such missions as patrol and reconnaissance. Oh, boy, it can hover over ships or submarines. Oh, and uh, here's how you put a blimp to rest for the night. Hey, this ought to be interesting. The nose is secured to a mooring mast, and the whole blimp just rotates on that, heading always into the wind like a giant weather vane. Hey, I never knew that's the way that worked. This is your lighter-than-air reporter, Captain Orville Weisenheimer, signing off. It's Billy Laguna. He's taking our balloon. Goodbye, you dumb kids. Thanks for the free balloon. Someday I drop in on you again. <laughs> hey, he's not getting away with our balloon if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> in on them sooner than I expected. You ought to take lessons from a cat. A cat always lands on its feet. You always land on your head. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time to go. We hope you liked our show. And we'll be back as quick as one, two, three. And when we meet again, we hope you'll be here then.